You've probably seen the videos before. Teens fighting at school while, while others egg them on. They're then posted online and viewed by thousands. Now police in the metro are cracking down not just on the students who are doing the fighting, but they are also going after the students who are filming them. News 13's Kayla Ayers is live in the Newsplex with details. Dean Rio Rancho police say when this sort of thing happens, it just makes the fight bigger than it was, and they want to put a stop to it. Kids beating other kids up, then posting videos of it online. We've seen it again and again in the metro. Oh, Late last month, police say a Cleveland high school student was jumped by another teen between classes. According to a Rio Rancho police report, she was punched, slapped, and knocked onto the ground before security broke up the fight. Her alleged attacker was charged with battery, but it wasn't long before the victim realized she was also being victimized online. It ended up coming out that the fight had actually been filmed um, using cell phones. Police say video of the fight was posted on Facebook and shared over text. It's something that keeps getting relived over and over again and it gets shared and um, it could be traumatizing. Police tracked down the two who filmed it. They charged one with accessory to battery and another with disorderly conduct. She made that decision to allow, allow the fight to continue and on top of it, film it. So that's why she's being charged with the accessory because she had prior knowledge that the fight was going to occur. Punishing students for filming and posting these videos isn't unheard of in the Rio Rancho School District. According to district policy, students can be suspended from school for doing so. Rio Rancho police say a crackdown on students who film and share these videos is new for their department, but it's not going to stop. It's the last thing that we want happening. I mean, I think by sharing it, it just kind of feeds into it and it just gets more embellished and it gets bigger. I spoke with the mother of one of the girls who filmed the fight. She says her daughter had no idea she could face charges for it. Back to you. Kayla, thank you. We asked APS police today about its policy on filming fights. The department told us while they, they will investigate instances like this, it would have to be a severe case, they say, for them to charge someone.